what is Tech Pathways London? Uh, you will see the logo on everything that we're doing today because this is in fact the final conference of the project. So Tech Pathways London has been running for a couple of years now, it was funded as part of the Mayor of London's Digital Talent Programme. It's all about CPD for digital educators of 11 to 24 year olds and educators is a very carefully chosen word there because one of the joys of this project has been um, that it hasn't specifically just been teachers or FE practitioners um, or kind of fixed in that way. We've had a very, very broad remit to work with all of the stakeholders who work with young people. And I think that's been one of the real strengths of this project. Uh, and there's kind of a twofold element to it. One of them is uh, increasing the uh, digital skills of those practitioners, supporting them in learning new digital skills so they can pass those on. But also, and this is a, a big focus of today, uh, helping practitioners who work with young people to better understand the digital jobs landscape that their young people are going into, uh, to better understand the skills that are going to hold their young people in good stead as they go out into the workplace. Uh, so we're going to be hearing from a lot of people who work in digital careers today, people who work in digital education, um, think about some of the barriers that young people might be facing and how we can tackle those. Um, there's a breadth and depth CPD element. So uh, we at uh, the CLC, uh, which is, is where I am today and where I work, the Connected Learning Centre based in London, we have been kind of focusing on the breadth elements, so some of the shorter form courses, and we've been working and partnering with Queen Mary University of London, who've been leading on the depth CPD programme, and you're going to be hearing a bit more uh, later in the day from Jane Waite, who's been leading on that part of the programme. This is the website techpathways.london, and this is really where all of our resources sit and where they will continue to sit uh, even beyond the, the kind of scope of funding of the project. Uh, so as I said, this is our final conference, very exciting, um, but all of our online courses and all of our online materials are going to be staying live uh, for I think another two years. So you'll still be able to access all of those things on techpathways.london, and that's where the recording from this session is going to go as well. Uh, within, oh, that was a click through to that website. Excellent. Well done, Caitlin. Uh, within the website itself, uh, there are a series of different things. On our blog, we have industry interviews uh, where we did a what it's like to work in um, and interview various different people. Uh, as you can see, the example that I've put on here is Rebecca, who uh, works, is a product manager for a uh, financial technology company, works in Bitcoin. Um, and the idea was to try, try and talk to people about their career journeys and find out where they started, how they ended up where they are, and hear those personal stories. And we're actually going to be hearing from three of those, um, those people that we've interviewed uh, a little bit later in the day as well. Um, and then we have a selection of online courses. Uh, there's, this is just some of what we have on offer. So you'll see uh, at the top there, uh, we've recorded some of the um, live events that we've done. This has been one of the benefits, I guess, of, uh, of the last year and everything kind of going online and going remote is we've been able to record those sessions and put them up there for those who haven't necessarily been able to attend on the day. So that's what we're going to do with this session. Um, Digital Learning the Pandemic and Beyond was with uh, the Association of Learning Technology. Um, we then had uh, an event, you'll see uh, Teaching 21st Century Skills Robotics with Team Storm. Uh, which was uh, a brilliant event with uh, several people who uh, work with Robot Wars. Uh, if anyone else is as much of a nerd as me, that was very exciting. Uh, so you'll see, see talks there. Um, going forward, the culture, uh, developing a curriculum rich in cultural capital, uh, that was put together in collaboration with Adobe and Adobe Spark using those tools. Um, design thinking and introduction was put together by, in fact, Sam, who is on this call now. Um, and who you'll be hearing from a little bit later. He's giving us a wave. There we go. Hi, Sam. Um, and Tech Outside the Classroom is one of the examples of sessions that we've put together with the GEC, the Global Equality Collective, who you will be hearing from in the next session. Uh, so all of these are partnerships that we've been building throughout the project.